Hello, YouTubers. Figure we do a little video on uh, affordable guns, mainly for women, but men too. I just wanted to show a few. You know, I buy and trade around, but uh, just wanted to show some affordable guns that won't bust the bank. But uh, all these are in nine millimeter except for two. One's in 380, and one is in 22 uh, long rifle. But uh, to start off with. For an automatic, you know, if you're really on a budget and you want something, I, I ain't going to say 100% dependable, but I mean, I've never had no trouble out of them. A lot of people knock them, but if you get on YouTube, a whole lot of people support them. I've never had trouble out of them. I've owned about five or six of them, but uh, it's the Taurus G2 or G3. They're basically the same gun. The G3, they just upgraded the sights and the trigger. That's about it. But uh, this is a nine millimeter automatic. It's got a 12 round mag, it comes with two. The G3 comes with three mags. It's a polymer frame. Good little uh, purse uh, pistol, or you know, stick it in your pants, you know, truck gun, however you wanna say it, bedside gun. It's not big, as you can see. About the size of a P365 or Hellcat. I've got a Hellcat right here. As you can see, the Taurus is a little thicker. And a little longer. Not much. But uh, basically the same size. And here you're looking at around 250 to 275 brand new. The Hellcat. Well, I got the gear up package. That's a whole uh, uh, five mags, two bags, and the gun. I got it for $5.29 out the door. So, you know, you can see the difference, but Springfield is a well-known name, just like uh, Smith & Wesson or Colt, you know. I love these little guns, but we'll get to it in a minute. But the Taurus G2, honestly, there's nothing wrong with it. You can honestly even find these in some stores on sale for Two two twenty nine, and uh, they got a, a manual safety, adjustable rear sights. You know, break down just like a Glock. Twelve round mag. You get two of them, and the G three you get three mags, and you're going to pay about twenty five dollars more. So basically, you're you're buying the magazine, but uh, the G two is just fine. I've never had a trouble out of them. I know you can get a, a bad one out of a hundred any, on any brand. You know, some people don't like them. I've never had a trouble. My daughter carries one. This one here, I'm giving to my wife. But I uh, just wanted to show that again, anywhere from two to 250. But me, basically you can find them for 229 brand new. But uh, 250 still ain't bad for a brand new gun. It's a nine millimeter, 12 round mag, one in the chamber, it gives you 13. Not a lot of recoil, you know, every gun's gonna give you a little bit, but it's not a lot. But uh, right there's one. Again, the Hellcat. Like I said, if you look right here, it gives you two bags actually, and this, this is the gear up package. It gives you two bags, one kind of like a small duffel bag, and then one just to put your pistol and an extra mag in, you can see right there. You get five total mags. One is 11, two are 13, and two are 15. So that's a pretty good deal, plus your gun. Like I said, I get 529 out the door, and I, I jumped on it. It's got the front uh, night sight with the yellow ring around it right there, if you can see it. I don't know if you can or not. It's got the U-notch, a real U-notch, not like Glock. You can see that. It's got the serrations on top and on the sides, front serrations. This is probably your number one Micro 9 on the market right now, far sales, you know. It used to be the P365, but I think Hellcat's blown them away now. Uh, it's reliable. It's well-made. Like I said, the gear-up package, crap. I mean, 
You can't beat that. Most stores just for the Hellcat and I think it's a 11 round mag and a 13 round mag, you get two mags, you're, you're giving around 550. So when I seen all this for 529 out the door, I jumped on it. But uh, it's got good texturing and it's worth the money. I ain't gonna lie to you. If you're wanting one you can depend on and actually put your life on the line with, I really do believe the Hellcat is a good buy. This is my second one. I traded off my first one like a dummy, but it was a trade I couldn't refuse. But I ended up getting me another one. I liked it so much. I also got the Hellcat Pro, which is a little bit longer barrel and a little bit longer grip. But I, I like this one right here. Good concealed. Woman can put it in her purse. Good nightstand uh, gun or car gun, however you want to look at it. And all these guns are uh, unloaded. They're clear. Just for YouTube's sake. I better do it before they delete it. So nothing all of them are but yeah right there's a, a good pistol to get if you're wanting something dependable and just want to buy one gun don't worry about it for 10 15 years and then right here's a revolver this is the ruger lcr 22 this is my wife's so don't think i carry this but uh these are good guns they really are uh no hammer on the back this is the model that's a hammerless it's got a hammer, but it's on the inside internal. You can get them with the hammer on the outside, but uh, it's been a good gun for her. It's a nine shot. Just a good old revolver. But these are a little pricey. I think new, they're around five, 550. You know, five is a good deal on them. But we've had this for years. But I'm just wanting her to move up to the nine millimeter. But uh, this is a good purse gun. Woman ain't got nothing to worry about but load it and pull the trigger. No safety or nothing. But that's something to look at. You know, if you're into revolvers and you're, you know, scared of the automatics. And you can get them in 38, 357, nine millimeter, you know, whatever caliber you want. And like I said, you can get them with the hammer on the outside. This right here is good for if you put them in your pocket or purse, when you jerk them out, that hammer don't hang on nothing, and you can just slide it out real easy. But yeah, that's another one. And right here is another good one. The Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. It holds 13 rounds. You get a 10 round mag and a 13 round mag, and they do make the 15 round mag. It's compatible with the uh, Smith & Wesson Easy. EZ is the way they pronounce it, but you know, so you can get the extra mag. And again, this one here, it has the manual safety right there. If you just want to keep it on safety or not, that's your takedown or a slide release. Right there's your takedown. It's got the flat trigger with the safety on it. I put the little Hogue beaver tail grip on it because it's thin, which is good, but uh. It's about the size of the Hellcat, basically. These are very good guns. This is probably your second best seller on Micro 9s. Very well built, good warranty. If I ain't mistaken, Smith has lifetime warranty on their guns. If I ain't mistaken, unless they've changed it. But these right here will run you approximately $399, you know, plus tax. Sometimes you can find them on sale. I mean, no, oh, three fifty at a little small mom and pop gun shop, but basically they're three ninety nine everywhere. But you're getting a dependable gun again. Smith and Wesson, a brand name. Just wanted to show that, and that's nine millimeter. Comes with a ten and a thirteen round magazine. And then another one. Is the Ruger Max, LCP Max. Good little pocket pistol, great little purse pistol. Pistol. This is a, a 380, which I always call them a, a, a short nine millimeter. But it's got a, a front night sight. You can see that. Serrated U-notch uh, sight in the back right there. 
way the glare don't get on it. This is, comes with a 10 round mag for 380. That's pretty good. It's got the safety on the trigger. Very light. I mean, dead serious. I mean, it don't weigh nothing, even loaded. But I keep it in a little pocket holster. You can keep them in your purse too. It's got good texturing. It's hammer fired, but it's more or less internal. You can see it, but you can't grab it. Just good, small. I mean, look at that. You can hide it very easy. But again, that's a 380 Ruger LCP Max. Now for home defense, truthfully, I'd get a nine millimeter up. This is just good to carry with you if you're traveling, going to the mall, working, whatever. You know, a woman carry it in her purse. Hey, they're great. But now if I'm going to have something on my nightstand, it's going to be a nine millimeter above. But again, this is very concealable. Very, very concealable. Purse or pocket or holster. These will run you new, the max, uh, about $399. 375. Now you can get the, the older regular uh, Ruger LCP for about 350, maybe even three and a quarter. But they're only like, I think six or seven rounds in the mag. This is 10. If I was going to do it, definitely get the max. And you can also get this in a nine millimeter, but it's a little bit bigger framed. But this is just great to put in your pocket, run to town, go to the mall, Go outside, do whatever you want to do. At least you got protection. No one can see it. Very, very concealable. And then two, I just wanted to show you this. These are very good deals. Now those were micro nines. This is a compact. And this is the same gun in a full size. Exact same gun, brand, everything. And I'll show you. But this is the Beretta APX. Excellent gun. Optic ready, as you can see right here. There's your optic plate and screws. Nine millimeter. Comes with a fiber optic front sight on this one, on the compact. Front serrations, nine millimeter. More or less flat trigger with the safety on it. Striker fired. Great grip for all my guns far as fitting my hand, you cannot beat this APX. I mean, I love my CZs, but in all honesty, this one here fits better. It truly does. I ain't saying it's a better gun, but it fits better. Now, these right here are good guns. No problems with them. They're reliable. Some police stations are even going to them. They're modular, and that means that the internals here you pop out a pin and you can take out the whole trigger group. Let's say you scratch up, you drop your gun and you scratch up your frame right here, this polymer frame, or you want another color. You take off your slide, pop that pin, pop out your whole trigger group, the whole internals. You go buy you a, a green one or a flat dark earth or a gray, brand new. These are, I, I want to say like 40 to 50 bucks. I, I want to say like 40, 45. But you can go buy you another one in a different color, brand new. Put your trigger group uh, down in it. Put your slide back on it. And you got a whole brand new frame gun there, you know. And that's a good thing. About like the P365 and the uh, P320, same thing. But uh, these are great little guns, and they feel fabulous. But uh, the good thing about these, though, is they sell for $399 whether it's the full size or the compact. And it's got a $100 mail-in rebate. So when you mail in that rebate, and they do work because I've done it, it takes about three or four months before you get it, but it does come. You actually only got $299 plus tax in it. You can't beat that nowhere. And this is a Beretta. So I don't know where you can get a good deal like that, but I have had no issues out of these. They shoot great. They feel awesome. Like I said, I don't have a gun that fits my hand better than this one right here. And that's the compact, Glock 19 size compact. And I'll lay that one down. And here's the full size. Same exact gun, just longer barrel, 
longer grips. This is a 17 round mag. The compact is a 15. And like I said, these are the exact same gun. The only difference on the full size, it doesn't have the fiber optic front sight. It's got that luminescent sight on it. Well, you can't see it there. I'm sorry, I apologize. Probably can't even see it. But that's it. I mean, that's the only difference. Great guns, feel great in the hand. Optic ready, every one of them, they all come optic ready. Like I said, $399, $100 rebate. You got $299 plus tax in a Beretta, brand new. But I'll tell you, I like them. They're great guns, and especially great for the money. That's oil there. But again, you can see the size difference. frame I'll lay them down there you go but yeah I just wanted to go over a few guns with you but uh any questions just comment I'll be putting out another video in about three or four days I got something coming in the mail it's supposed to be delivered tomorrow for wanting me to review it but uh any questions comment you know I am a gun person so if you got any questions, just ask me, especially the women. I'll help you all I can. I believe in women arming themselves, especially the way times are today. I mean, you need to protect yourself and your kids with something, especially when your man's at work or if you don't got a guy, you know, if you live alone. But uh, definitely have you something. I mean, if it's just a little old 22, hey, that'll work. It'll still sting somebody. But, uh, yeah, let me know. Email me, comment, don't matter. Please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. I'd really appreciate it. And y'all have another uh, good day. God bless, and I'll catch you on the next one in a few days.